But he can still drown. Help me pick this up. Let me up. <laughs> Let me up. The government knows what's best for you. Then the government should kill me. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. Huh, no! You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our Please, informant no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. Get out the scope. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters, we need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chili. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. Where you want it? Nowhere! <laughs> Come on! Oh, 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 oh. I hope you're not a steer! <laughs> Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He changed smokes, and he's left-handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me... Michael, what the fuck is wrong with you? What, I had my eyes on a target. Listen, anyone in that joint's got as much chance of being a threat to national security as the next guy. Steve, it's blown. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. We don't even have an ID. Why are you shooting before we have an ID? Michael, what the f Oh, fuck! You get kicks out of killing innocent women now? The report I'm gonna have to write. Steve, he fucked it. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Davy, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be. Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! 
Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work, the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, me too. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> How's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kinda. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you... I have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. Torchers. No one drives me to the airport. Me. Run. You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on.
place is so fake, man. Whatever, dude. Trevor is a... The Trevor... Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. Come on then, Floyd. What you got for me? Black... Oh! Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I got to work a sticky, come on. Look, sir, please, just tell me what you want and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography. Ow! For a perfect turn. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? 236 billion. And 36 billion dollars worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track of what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been... Beyond annoying. There's been all these uh, Merryweather folks hanging around. Merryweather security consultant. Private army to the New World Order. My butt got him up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries. Hey, now. Around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil. That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no, they won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. Go park and get the dispatch. Yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. Wait, here comes the suit. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. It don't matter what went in his mouth, it matters what came out. We got a waste spillage, and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them. Especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay.